What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Hope everyone is having a phenomenal day. And today we have a new release, Hobby Box, Topps Heritage High Number 2022. Been looking forward to this one for a while. So before we get into it, would ask if you could drop down, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell for notifications, let you know when I upload, and hit that like button. The like button helps push me up the YouTube algorithm and I would greatly appreciate that. Now, that be all being said, business taken care of. Let's do this. See what we can find. I've only bought one hobby box so far. So far, normally I buy two. I've only bought one so far. I usually buy back to back, usually from the same person. Whether that be Tops or I find them on eBay, however that is. And we do get some box toppers. We got a O'Neill Cruise. That is a nice one too. So there's our box topper. That's the O'Neill Cruise. That is the, um, what is this one called? It's the 50, it's like the 53 or 73, something like that. It's a special one, but that's a good find. O'Neill Cruise, anytime you can find one of those rookies, that's a good deal. Get the box open here, and then we're going to start ripping these packs. There we go. I like to, I know a lot of people... When they do this, they just take everything out of the box and just put the packs up there. I don't. I like to I like to have the box there because that's part of the experience is having that box. So there's the pack. Looks pretty much the same as the regular does, except the, the you got a green instead of red. The regular one was red. Kershaw's on this one. Nine cards, 24 packs per card. Um, if you want to see the odds, there are the odds. You can go ahead and pause the video for that. And let's go ahead and get into it. We should get one auto or one chrome, or excuse me, one auto or one relic card per box. There's Jorge Soler. And it's the same. There's Hunter Green. And there's our auto, Jake Myers, right off the bat. Rookie, Jake Myers. So maybe we'll get lucky. We got our first one. Maybe we'll get uh, two in this box since we hit, hit it in the first pack. Let's go ahead and get that guy sleeved up. We might get lucky, although lately I feel that Tops has been putting all of the in the hobby boxes. I had the same issue with Allen and Ginter, both hobby boxes of Allen and Ginter. The top, let's show that again. The top three packs had all three um, of the of the relic or the rip card or you know the auto in it. So I've noticed that with these these pack or these hobby boxes at least on this back end of the year but we'll see we'll see so hopefully we'll get an opportunity for another auto and it won't just be our only one jay pollock owen miller liam Hendricks, adam frazier drew smiley so like i said same design as the regular um, as the regular heritage from earlier in the year. So no change there. There's Trey Turner. Has a new home. Jake Myers, there's the regular one. And Donovan Solano. So next year, this is the 73 design, so that means uh, I'm going to assume next year they're going to do the 74 design. Which, you know... It's another kind of simple design. It didn't really have, you know, didn't really have a lot of bells and whistles to it, so to speak. So, looks like we got an insert coming up here. We got a rookie performers, Brian De La Cruz. That's a nice one. We'll set that over there. Kimbrell, Lowe, and Eric Hosmer. Set our base back there. So, we get a Brian De La Cruz rookie performers. No short prints yet. Stroman, Luke Jackson. Here's another one. There's a 73 All-Star Game Highlights. That's a Johnny Bench. That's another um, insert. Nice. Cole Calhoun, Yepes, and Cooper Criswell. No really super big name rookies so far, and no short prints yet. So obviously J-Rod, and there's a now and then. I think that's also another insert. Uh, J-Rod and Spencer. 
those guys or Bobby Witt, they're all in here. So hopefully we'll be able to find at least a couple of those guys' base cards. Oop, looks like we got a Chrome card here. Duran, Lodolo, and it's Marcus Stroman, Chrome card for the Cubs. Numbered out of 673. 406 out of 673. Okay, that's that's pretty cool. To see what the... Um, is that an insert? That look, battery mates, that's an insert. So we've got a couple inserts in this one. Syndergaard, Thomas, and Cole Tucker. Tucker. I'll have to look up the Chrome card. I think the Chrome cards, I don't, I'm not sure they're one per box. Um, Chrome is one in 54. Chrome Refractor is one in 81. Silver Border, that looks like the Chrome Silver Border. One in 145. Okay. No, maybe not. That's just a refractor, I guess. Still, pretty good pull there. I bet it wasn't J-Rod. Would have really liked it have been J-Rod. That would have been awesome. There's Spencer Torkelson. I like that shot of him. That looks pretty cool. We'll set him aside. Perez, Diaz, Sanchez, Plummer, Daniel Vogelbach, and... San Martin or Martin. Um, we'll put Spencer over here. Hopefully he'll have a couple friends to join him here shortly. Bobby Witt and Julio Rodriguez, hopefully. Josh Riddick, Frazier, Andrew McCutcheon, and Josh Hader. Was there two Josh Haders? Josh Riddick, sorry. I was like, wait a second. Wait a second there, and we got two of those. Now, I will be glad when Heritage is done for this year. There's Seihei Suzuki. We'll put him over there. I think he's a pretty good rookie. There's Juan Soto, Sonny Gray, Brandon Marsh, another solid rookie. There's Javi Baez. Yeah, I will. Um, we are winding down the baseball card season here. Just a few more releases kind of sticking out there. Um, Tops is pretty much done for the year. This was pretty much their last one, I think. Jeremy Pena, we're going to put him over there. I think his cards are going to skyrocket next year. Ortega, Montero, James Karanak, maybe. I'm not sure how to say his name. So, I do. I think Pena's cards will, um, I think they're going to take a nice... Nice bump next year. They're going to go up. There's Bryson Stott. There's another good rookie. Stephen Kwan, another good rookie. Garcia, Zimmer, and Andre Palante. So, yeah, very uh, tops is pretty much done for the year. And then we'll be looking for tops finest coming out in January. And then we'll be right back at 2023 Series series 1 before you know it. With all the craziness that's happened at the winter meetings, it won't be long. We'll be talking about pitchers and catchers reporting. It's usually the way it goes. Season's over, meetings happen, then before you know it, oh, pitchers and catchers report. Yeah, I think that's going to be our starting to look like that's going to be our only autograph. I can't believe I haven't pulled any short prints. There's C.J. Abrams. There's Julio. Number 700. He is the last card in the set. Zach Short. There's Pujols. Jackie Bradley Jr. Or wait. You know, now that I see that, and he wasn't turned around, I'm starting to believe that maybe the short prints aren't turned around. In this one, um, the short prints are, I think, the last 25 cards. Anything over seven, no, I think 701 to 725 are short prints. This card was Oliver Ortega, it was 714. That was not turned around. So the short prints in here were not turned around. So that might be something to keep an eye on as you're going through these. Um, in series one, they were turned around for the most part. Well, I should say for the most part. I think not all of them were turned around. Looks like we got another uh, all-star game highlights. Let's 
So that's something to to keep a look at. Maybe I'm just I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking wrong, but I feel like in the first heritage, most if not all the short prints were turned around. There's Carlos Correa. Still, he hasn't gone anywhere at the time of me filming this video. So they're saying that maybe it might be the Yankees. There's a now and then. I was kind of hoping, I'm still holding out hope that the Cubs are going to go after him. Uh, now that Bogarts is off the board, and he's going to be playing in San Diego, um, the Cubs need a shortstop. I like the Bellinger pickup. I thought that was, a, I think that's a, a more of an upside. It's got upside to it. There's Solaire again. Um, Hunter Green again than anything you know if if he can play up to that potential and he brings that bat that he's got the cubs can they're going to get him for fairly cheap and they're going to get a nice bat in their lineup you know his defense is still pretty solid cubs don't aren't good next year at the trade deadline they can use him as trade bait potentially if he has a good year um, i don't think that's going to be the case I, I i don't see them I think it, they, you know, they finished third in the division this year. I think it's going to be pretty similar to next year. I mean, unless they get hot. They played really well down the stretch, but it could be one of those, eh, you know, the season was kind of over, so let's just go out and play hard and see what we can do. So who knows? And speaking of the Cubs, there's a new Cub, James Talon. There's a Bryce Harper NL MVP. That's an award winner card. Um, I don't think we have any of those yet. Corey Seager. Mitch Garver. So what we got here? About five, six packs left. Looks like five packs left. Just one auto, which I was kind of hoping for opening that first pack. We were going to hit maybe another one, but we've got a few packs left here. We might. Mancini. There's a rookie performance, Jaron Duran. Whit Merrifield. Kiner Falefa. And the guy I really wish was still a Cub, but I'm happy for him as Anthony Rizzo. Nice contract he got from the Yankees, so I'm happy for him. But I do wish he was still in Chicago. Gonzalez, there's Jake Arrieta, Chris Sale, Nick Allen, Jock Peterson, Sheffield, and Alejandro Kirk. So three packs to go here. There's Bobby Witt Jr. on the back. I think he's about the only one we're missing. Trevor Story, Kevin Smith, Dave Dunning, Aaron Hicks, Luke Williams, Drury, George Kirby, and there is Bobby Witt Jr. So we have hit pretty much all of the big rookies we needed to hit. Julio, Bobby Witt, and Spence. Two packs to go. No image variations, though. I haven't seen any of those. I haven't seen any cards turned around. So, no luck there so far. We did hit the one auto. I was hoping to hit another. And there's Spencer Strider as a solid rookie. Jason Junk. Jansen Junk. That's a great pitcher name. Lopez. There's a really good pitcher. And our last pack of the night. Let's do a little last pack magic here. Maybe we can hit an image variation. Or maybe we'll get lucky and hit one more auto. Trevino. Not looking good. There's Schwarber. Pinto. Ridings. And David Peterson. Okay. Well, that's our box. Not too bad. Like I said, we got all the major rookies. So we got Bobby Witt. Card 520. There's Julio. That's a really cool shot. Card 700. Jeremy Pena. Card 629. Say Hey Suzuki. Card 505. And Spencer Torkelson. Card 531. So we got those. That's pretty nice. We did get this Chrome Refractor with Marcus Stroman. Numbered out of 673. So that's not too bad. Card 555. It's a nice chrome card. Our auto was Jake Myers. Rookie card. 
non-numbered, not too bad. Got a couple of the rookie performers cards, a couple of the all-star game highlights, uh, a couple of now and thens, a MVP uh, Bryce Harper, a battery mates with Acuna and um, Ozzy Albies, and then our box topper was the O'Neill Cruz, which I don't think we saw um, O'Neill Cruz in any of the cards. So I definitely am going to have to buy another box. But thankfully, these boxes aren't too expensive. They're running about uh, 80 bucks right now on tops.com, so they're not too bad. But that is going to do it for this video, so I appreciate everybody watching. Please uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel and uh, hit the little bell for notifications, and make sure you leave a thumb up on the video. I really appreciate it. With that being said, thanks you all for stopping by.